Hello my friends, today's gonna be a fun day to be firing up some Hohokam pottery today. Oh man, I'm super excited for that. This is gonna be the last Hohokam themed firing for this first season of my firing pottery. Oh man, it'll be the culmination of everything that I've done from firing Hohokam stuff. And I've got really high hopes that this might be a success. Time to cross those fingers. I've got a whole bunch of plates that I've made and I've got a nice little mug and I'm gonna be refiring a jar that I did from my last firing, which had a little bit of carbon left on it. I wanna see if I can't get that burned out. Hopefully I've got enough cover shirts because I did a reduction firing earlier and that consumed pretty much all the cover shirts that I brought, but I still have a few left. So it's got me wondering, hmm, am I gonna have enough? Hopefully I will. So let's go start collecting some wood to get this thing started. Well, we're gonna dig a little bit deeper pit than normal. It's pretty windy out. As you can see in the back, I've got the uh, big old burial still for my reduction firing going on. So I'm gonna be firing right close to it. And this looks like a beautiful spot. Ah, struck a little bit of moisture there. It has not rained in a month. So that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I think that'll do it. That's not too crazy. Yeah. All right, let's go start collecting some wood and get this first firing started. Uh-oh, looks like I got a little friend next to me. Well, it looks like I got a beautiful gopher snake sitting right by my camp here. He's just looking for some nice warm sun. And then just enjoying this beautiful day. Oh, what a beautiful snake. All right, let's set this up. Still got some wood to collect, but I want to get these pieces out and all set up nice. Do you want to make sure they get warmed up good and well? A little spindle will set you there. Oh man, how many times have I made this plate and it's never turned out the way I wanted it to. Hopefully it's gonna be your time to shine, my friend. Here I've got, uh-oh. I don't like garbage that I leave behind. That wouldn't be good. Oh. Youch. All right. Should be another big plate in here. Here you are. Hmm. Snake plate right there. Here's that jar. You can see it's got the carbon on this side. Drives me nuts every time I see it on the shelf, so I'm gonna try and hopefully refire that out. And then I've got my nice mug right here, and hopefully nothing tragic befalls this thing. I think I'll actually warm up the side first with the handle over there. And here we go with the jar that's already been fired before. Oh, please, I got my fingers crossed. You've got to turn out, my friend. I think I've made you one too many times. And I've got this beautiful mug right here. An older version of that same plate. Looks like some of that hematite paint, though, is starting to rub off in the transporting process. That's never a good thing. And we've got this here plate right here. And this crazy wild looking snake plate right here. Well, let's go get this warm up fire going. All right, this should be enough scrap wood to get this thing going. Ooh, yikes. All right, well, looks like that's going up pretty quick. All right, as you can see, I've got this thing pretty well covered up on this side. The side facing me is pretty open. So what I decided to do is put all my reject plates on this side and put the good stuff facing that side. 
and hopefully it doesn't uh, have any complications. The thing I worry most about plates when I fire them is that they're prone to cracking because if they rapidly cool down, it puts them at a really vulnerable state. So I'm hoping these cover shirts are gonna help out in that process. Normally for plates, I have them all laying straight down, but this time, since I've got that mug in here, it's kind of stacked in a really odd way. So this was like a game of good old Tetris where I just uh, blew a good 20 minutes shuffling these small cover shirts around to uh, finally equate to what we're looking at right here, right now. So now I'm gonna go get that wood and start stacking it and get ready to light this puppy on fire. Oh man, guys, we got a lot of odd end wood around here. I've got a little bit of Palo Verde going on, some white birch from my firing from earlier. Boy, I got desperate and I even grabbed some choy along the way here. Uh, this might be a piece of mesquite wood. That actually does look like some mesquite that I picked up along the way. So, this is gonna be wild. Let's get this start stacking it up and yeah, hope for the best on this one. I don't know. This is gonna be crazy. Uh, let's see here. This I can kind of just drape you on the hand. Yeah, there we go. Huh? How about that? Man, I love these cover shirts for that very purpose. You can just drop these on and if it's not balanced, it doesn't matter. It's gonna still rest okay. Man, I don't even think I have enough wood for this. I'm gonna have to go back and hunt around for some more scrap wood. Let's put some thicker branches on this side here. Oh, you know what? I got this big old honking piece of Palo Verde there. I've got, oh man, another one right here. We'll just remove you, my friend. Put the big one there. I've got kind of got three big size pieces here. So this is going to be a great test, I think. If I get a lot of carbon with all this randomized wood. Oh man, that's even a piece of pinion wood right here. Wow, got that from up north somewhere. Well, that was really crazy. I can't believe I found that piece of pinion wood in this pile. I have no idea where I got that thing from, but uh, boy, this is the odd couple right here in this firing. I got a little bit of everything in the desert out here that's gonna be going up into this thing. All right, so let's go ahead and light this thing up. And here we go. Hmm. One good thing about that choya wood, it sure ignites pretty quick. Look at that. You can see which wood's burning quicker than the other. That's it's kind of a race to see who ignites the most. This could be interesting. Wow, this thing went up pretty quick. Almost looks like the wind decided to shift directions. This is weird. This wind, oh boy. Hmm. Well, this fire is going really well right now, almost too well, but I think that's thanks to this crazy wind. It sure lifted this fire really quick, as you can see in the background. I'm gonna take a few more measurement readings and let this thing fully burn out, and we'll check on the results.
Well, this was a successful firing. Man, these turned out really clean, really beautiful. I'm super happy with it. Some of this paint is actually not fugitive. Then my snake plate, isn't this thing cool? Wow, this is just beautiful. This is going straight up on my shelf after I clean this thing off. So the firing was a total success. I didn't reach above 820 degrees. And I was really nervous about that because I have some temper in here that contains some caliche and this clay actually contains some caliche as well. And I was like, oh boy, I hope this doesn't go up because the temperature kept rising and my nerves kept rising with it. But luckily it kind of tapered out in the 820s and dipped really low, really fast. We hung out about in the 790s for most of the firing, which is just really beautiful. And um, this really shows I'm super happy. This was a great firing, guys. Ah, oh, man, just absolute beauty. So this jar was a refiring. It had already been fired once before, but it had a lot of carbon issues on it, and it does not anymore. Oh, now I can put this back on my shelf and look at it without going, ugh, man, I really bombed out on that one. <laughs> oh boy, guys, I tell you, that carbon sometimes drives me nuts. It's got its place, though. It can be good for some types of pottery. But when you're aiming to make something and you want it to look a specific way and it doesn't turn out that way, sometimes it's a little bit hard. But then again, that could be the perfectionist in me and it always comes to bite me in the face every now and then. But boy, I'm really happy with this jar right now. Oh, and lastly, my mug. Oh man, look at this beauty. That is beautiful. Oh man, I don't even see any cracks on the handle. Oh, this was, this was a success here. This just made my day. Wow. This is cool. Well, now I gotta go take some pictures of this crazy thing. This is awesome. Oh man. Nothing quite like a successful firing, I say. And this one was a total success. Well guys, that sure was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Oh, I can't believe I'm nearing the end of my season for this pottery firing. I recently created a playlist, so if you want to watch other videos on it, be sure to take a look at it. I've got quite a number of videos. I'm really surprised at how quickly they all started to add up. I'd also like to thank you guys for all the very wonderful support that you've given me with these videos. All of the wonderful comments. Thank you so much, guys. It really means a lot to me. And thanks so much for watching. All right, my friends. Till next time. <laughs>